Hey guys, Mystic Nightmare here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on the easiest way to find Magnetite in the 2018 full release of Subnautica without the Seamoth. Now, some people believe that the easiest way is to get the Seamoth and go down to the Jelly Shroom biome, but that's not actually true. All you really need is the Sea Glide, an extra battery, and a couple of cooked fish and water just so you don't starve obviously and then I'm also using the high capacity O2 tank which is easily found by finding silver and then crafting the first uh, tank that you get in the fabricator and you can craft this one right after that so what you want to do is you want to look at the Aurora turn to your left you see that big cloud that's the solid island with the big gun on it and we're gonna go over there we'll see you guys over there okay as you can see we're over on the solid island by the big gun Go ahead and go up this path right here. Now, this isn't absolutely necessary to do the next part, but I highly suggest it mainly because it gets, gets you deeper in the water and allows you to stay down a little bit longer. At the top of that little path, there's this big gun. Go ahead and pick up your purple tablet that's laying on the ground. Jump down the cliff. And what this does is this will open up the door to the bay that's underwater. We're going to use that to get extra oxygen uh, so we can stay down a little bit longer. Like I said, you don't absolutely have to do this, but I highly suggest it. Uh, once, you, uh, once you open the door, go ahead and find the bay, which is actually on the back side of the base. And you want to be careful bringing your sea moth or anything else over here. I highly suggest you just park it inside the bay and uh, not even use it because there is a leviathan down here so what you want to do is you want to go in here go ahead and get your oxygen i'm going to change out my battery to my sea glide to make sure that i've got enough power get your oxygen full you're going to leave the bay and you're going to swim directly down now what you're waiting to do is you're waiting to get to 250 meters and that will kind of tell you when to look to the right when we get there Okay, we're about 250. So you look to your right and you see these spewing uh, volcano uh, uh, things, I guess you can call them. Right around here is where you can find a lot of your magnetite. Don't worry about the heat. It's not really that bad. It's not really hurting you. There's one magnetite there. Let's see if there's another one around here. There should be quite a bit. There's another magnetite there. And your Reaper Leviathan is actually over there. So you kind of want to be careful what you're doing around here. But for the most part, he'll leave you alone as long as you kind of just stay out of his way. And that's where your Magnetite is, is all around this area. All around these thermal vents right here. On top of that, if you would like, and you've cleaned out all the Magnetite on there, you can go ahead and stay around 200, 250, or I should say 250, 275. Keep this canyon to your left, or the rock wall to your left. And you should come upon another thermal vent around this corner over here. And you'll find more magnetite around there. Where did it go? There it is. Is that it right there? I think that's it right there. Yep, that's it right there. So you should be able to find magnetite down and around here too as well. There's more magnetite here. And as you can see, that's where you can easily find your magnetite. So if you like the video, give us a like and a subscribe. Um, and yeah, good hunting. See you guys later.